the Larry O'Brien Trophy will be presented to the 2020 NBA Finals champion Lakers. A celebration just underway. He's won now with the Miami Heat, with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and the Los Angeles Lakers. As has his teammate Danny Green, also his third championship with three different teams. And Rajon Rondo winning his second NBA title. The Celtics in 08, the Lakers in 2020. Right now, let's get things started. As they're going to bring the best spoke Louis Vuitton trophy travel case. PA announcer Kyle Speller. Joining us now at center court with a special presentation. Please welcome ESPN's Rachel Nichols. Thank you so much. I am just thrilled to say that we are now joined by the Lakers' Jeannie Buss and here to present the Larry O'Brien Trophy, Commissioner Adam Silver. Thank you, Rachel. This season restart was always about something bigger than basketball. It was about resilience and ingenuity but it was also about racial equality and social justice. Working together, teams and players, we found a way to play through a pandemic, keep everyone safe, and put a spotlight on these critically important issues. For that, every team deserves to be celebrated. And a special thank you to Disney and the 6,500 people who worked on this campus. The basketball here in Orlando has been intense. Congratulations to the Miami Heat, our Eastern Conference champions. And after three months, one team has emerged victorious. The Los Angeles Lakers are the NBA's 2019-20 champions. Congratulations to Jeannie Buss, the Buss family, Rob Palinka, Coach Vogel, the whole Laker organization, and of course this incredible team. This Larry O'Brien trophy, and I believe this suitcase, are yours. <laughs> you guys, come take the trophy. <laughs> Jeannie, it has been a decade of ups and downs to get to this moment right here with these guys. What does it mean to you to win it this year of all years with everything that's happened? Well, first I want to thank Adam Silver and all the workers that made it possible for us to finish out this season. I um, especially would like to thank all the teams that made it to the bubble to make this all possible. Shout out to the Portland Trail Blazers, the Houston Rockets, the Denver Nuggets, and the Miami Heat for the honor and privilege of sharing this court with them. On behalf of the Laker organization, Rob Palenka, thank you. Coach Vogel, the coaching staff, the training staff, all our employees back home in Los Angeles for your tireless work in making this happen. And to you, Lakers team, I am so proud of you both on and off the court. You've done uh, Los Angeles proud with your hard work, your professionalism, and your dedication. And I, you have written your own inspiring chapter in the great Laker history. And to Laker Nation, we have been through a, a heartbreaking tragedy with the loss of our beloved Kobe Bryant and Gianna. Let this trophy serve as a reminder of when we come together, believe in each other, incredible things can happen. Laker Nation, when it's safe, I look forward to celebrating with you. Until then, I will bring back the trophy to Los Angeles where it belongs. Jeannie, thank you so much. Frank Vogel, please come up and join us. Frank, when you think about all the questions about this team at the start of this year, 
How would you describe the journey to get from there to this moment? Well, we have a, we have a PhD in adversity, I can tell you that much. Uh, we've been through a lot, but I'm so damn proud of this team! <laughs> World champions! <laughs> Credit, credit to this group right here, this group of players for buy, buying into being a team first team, committing to the defensive end. You became a defensive monster. You saw that tonight. My coaching staff, we've had fun since day one. We had fun together with this whole process. RP, thanks for the opportunity, collaboration, togetherness. Jeannie and the Bus family, we love you guys. Laker Nation! We did it! Frank, I have heard you say you weren't the most obvious choice to coach this team, but you were clearly the right coach for this team. Why were you such a perfect fit and voice for these guys? Just, uh, I'm the guy that's gonna focus on the work, you know, and that's what this group needed. We had, we had the talent, you know, we just wanted to focus on the work, tie all the strings together, make sure we all play together, and we got it done. Thank you so much, Coach. Congratulations. Now let's hand things back over to Commissioner Silver to present the 2020 Bill Russell MVP Trophy. Of course, the finals MVP Trophy, as you just said, is named after Bill Russell, who has been with us every year for the finals, but of course couldn't be in the bubble this year, but I know is watching at home. And I have a feeling that this finals MVP is going to have a trophy named after him one day. The finals MVP is LeBron James. You said the other day, and I want to read this to get it exactly right, Lakers fans, quote, don't give a damn about what you've done before. When you become a Laker, you've got to do it with them as well. Well, you have done it, LeBron. What does it mean to you? Um, it means a lot. It means a lot to represent this franchise. Um, Jeannie, I told Jeannie when I came here that uh, I was going to put this franchise back in a position where it belongs. Um, her late great father did it for so many years and she just, you know, took it on after that. And for me to be a part of such a historical franchise is uh, it's an unbelievable feeling, not only for myself, but for my teammates, for the organization, for the coaches, for the trainers, everybody that's here. Um, we just want our respect. Rob wants his respect. <laughs> Coach Vogel wants his respect. Our organization wants their respect. Laker Nation wants their respect. And I want my damn respect too. <laughs> LeBron, I'm going to tell you, four finals MVPs, your fourth title with three franchises, extremely elite company, and in year 17 as well. you got a guy in your ear right now telling you're the greatest of all time. You're just a couple months shy of your 36th birthday. Yeah. Is this the longest prime in the history of professional sports? I don't know. I'm going to let you guys talk about it. Um, one thing I can do is uh, commit to the game. Um, I put myself and my body and my mind in position to be available to my teammates. Um, I've never missed a playoff game in my career. And uh, the best thing you can do for your teammates is be available. And uh, for me to be available to my teammates and put in the work, um, I just hope I make my guys proud. And, and that's all that matter to me. I make my guys proud, make the fan base proud, my family back home. I can't wait to get back home to them. Akron, Ohio, we did it again. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. You have had an incredibly close partnership with the guy over there to your left. What can you say about the way you two work together to get this trophy here tonight? I mean, it's easy. It's easy. Um, I said it in the presser uh, before. We have no ego. Um, we want the best 
from each other every single day, both in off the floor, on and off the floor. And I know what it means to have seven years uh, where you feel like um, that you can't get over the hump. You know, I had seven years my first stint in Cleveland. I felt like I couldn't get over the hump. I felt like I needed some help. I felt like I need someone to push me. And that's when I was able to go to Miami and get pushed by D. Wade and Bosch in that franchise. And so to be able to get him and we push him and let him know how great he is, but just making him see better basketball and better to be a part of something that's special, that's what it's all about. So to be able to put him where he is today, I, I, that means so much to me. And the fact that he trusts me uh, means even more. You were very vocal coming in here that you weren't just trying to win a title in this bubble, but you wanted to be a real voice for social change in what has been one of the most turbulent years in American history. When you look back about what the entire NBA Brotherhood did in this bubble, what will you think of? Uh, it's been unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. We didn't know. It was an unknown. Um, but I think Adam, I think everybody from the NBA to NBPA putting this thing together, um, you know, and us using our voices, us using being together. You know, you, you hear Golden State always use the phrase strength in numbers. And that's exactly what it was while we were here as, a, as the NBA, as the MVPA, all our players, everybody had a voice on what's going on in America. So um, we know we, want to, we all want to see better days. Um, and when we leave here, we got to continue to push that. Uh, continue to push uh, social injustice, continue to push for voter suppression, continue to push for police brutality, continue to push for everything that's the opposite of love. And I think if we could continue to do that, all of us, um, America would be a, a much better place, which we all love this, this country. LeBron, thank you so much for pushing against all of those things. Congratulations thank you. on that trophy in your hand. Appreciate it. And your fourth NBA title. What that big Let's bring up Anthony Davis, please. Big boy there. AD, your first NBA Finals, your first title, when you imagined, when you were growing up back on the playgrounds of Chicago, this moment, how does the reality stack up with the dream? You can't even put it into words. To be out here and grind with these guys for a full 12 months, you know, been through a lot of ups and downs, a lot of arguments, a lot of tough moments. And to hear that horn go off and, and we NBA champions, uh, it's just a real feeling. I'm just happy it's with these guys. Oh. You told me for years when you couldn't get into the playoffs sometimes in New Orleans, all you wanted was the chance to test yourself, to be there at the end when the competition was highest. What you were able to do, especially defensively during this finals, what did you learn about yourself? You got to compete. It's tough. It's tough on the body. Um, it's a lot of hard work, but these guys push me every day. Um, especially Bron and, and, and Doe. You know, they always on me about being great, being better, you know, covering up every mistake. It's my job. And to, <laughs> and to be able to, uh, you know, win it and, and grind and see how tough it is and see this feeling and want this feeling again. You know, that's what it's about, to get this feeling <laughs> and want this feeling again. And like I said, I'm happy with these guys, man. We've been through a lot, man, to ups and downs, start from the beginning of the season. And... He's trying We're to champions. give you something over there. We're here. I love these guys. Anthony. Anthony, you became teammates with Kobe Bryant back in the 2012 Olympics. He was a big brother to you for the rest of your time through in New Orleans and then coming to here. I know that you have been thinking of him. You told me before the NBA Finals, I cannot let him down. Anthony, you did not let him down. What we does it mean to you we to have done that? You know, ever since the tragi tragedy, you know, all we wanted to do was is do it for him. And we didn't let him down. Um, it would have been great to do it, you know, last game in his jerseys, but, you know, it made us come out even more aggressive, even more powerful on both ends of the floor to make sure we close it out tonight. And, I know he's looking down on us, proud of us. Um, I know, you know, Vanessa's proud of us. The organization's proud of us. Um, you know, it, it means a lot to us. And, you know, it's a tough moment, man. What more you want from me? What more do you got? See, you like that. He was a, he was a, I like that. I like that. He like that. He like that. He like that. He was a, uh, he was a big brother to all of us, and you know, we, we we did this for him. Before I let you go, I do want to ask you about your dad, 
who told you that he would quarantine as long as it took to be here for this moment. And in fact, of course, he did. Um, yeah, he's, he's one of my biggest supporters. I mean, he, he said he had quarantined 30 days just to be right here in this moment. Um, <laughs> he's, uh, he's always texting me before games, you know, telling me to go get it. You know, he, he's my biggest critic, my biggest supporter. Um, I know he's proud of me. You know, he, he was in with me from the beginning of my career, you know, waiting for this moment. Both of us waiting for this moment, and it's here. So he ain't crying right now, but I know he's going to be crying in a minute. Hey, hey. <laughs> he's going to cry when he gets in the car. He's going to cry when he gets in the car. So um, I know he's proud of me. And, Love you, Pops. <laughs> Congratulations to him, to you, to all the families, to all the parents, the spouses, the children that sacrificed, especially this year, to be with you guys in this moment. And congratulations to the right, 2020 Rachel, champion, pop Los Angeles Lakers. They're tearing the house down already. Back up to you. Yeah, yeah.